Siena, a city of art, culture and richness. This town on a hill in Tuscany, indeed, is such a precious gem. Often forgotten by mainstream tourists, is instead a must-see in the region. But how to visit Siena and its overwhelming amount of masterpieces and architectural highlights? Struggle-free? If you're coming by bus, you'll be dropped off pretty near to the city center. But if, like us, you are coming by car, here's a free and convenient parking spot. But be prepared to climb a little bit to reach the actual city center. The climb to get up was kind of tough, but doable. Our first stop is gonna be the Cathedral of Siena, which is in Romanic and Italian Gothic style. Inside, there are masterpieces by Pinturicchio, Raffaello, Donatello, Duccio di Buoninsegna, Michelangelo, Bernini, Nicola and Giovanni Pisano. A lot of folks. And even its floor is spectacular. We are so lucky that right now is open to people to see it. And it's mind-blowing that we were so lucky. It's really, really precious. Inside, there is also Piccolomini Library, which is a gem, painted by Pinturicchio and its workshop, which include also Raffaello. It's a must-see in Siena. Our second stop is the crypt. There are really old frescoes figuring scenes from the Bible. Our third stop is the baptistery, which is unfinished on the exterior, but the inside is so beautifully frescoed by painters from the Renaissance. What's not to be missed is the stunning baptismal font sculpted by Jacopo della Quercia, Lorenzo Ghiberti and Donatello. The baptismal font was all under renovation, so yay! We managed just to have a sneaky peek of it. Our next stop is Museo dell'Opera. Inside there are masterpieces of the same artist of the cathedral. And next to it there is the Facciatone. From there we are gonna have a great view over the city and over the cathedral. But let's start by saying that Museo dell'Opera is a huge museum, spread on three different levels and with over 28 rooms, filled with masterpieces. So do yourself a favor and take some time to properly enjoy its visit. Then, when you'll reach its top floor, you'll be granted access to climb the Facciatone. But what is this random wall hanging on the side of the cathedral? Well, it was part of an ambitious and never completed project that would have enlarged the actual cathedral to a massive construction, of which only few parts and the facciatone were actually built. Now this wall is used as a perfect viewpoint over the stunning city of Siena. To visit Siena's cathedral complex, there are many tickets and we chose the one that is 15 euros per person and I think it's the most valuable one. With that ticket, which is called 
OPA C, which stands for Siena, you get to see a lot. I would say it was really valuable this ticket, 15 euros for all these things. It's actually a steal. We are now in Piazza del Campo, the main square of Siena. In this square you can find Fonte Gaia, which is the biggest fountain in the city. It was originally sculpted by Jacopo della Quercia, but the one we are seeing today is a replica. The main characters of this square though are Palazzo del Comune, and Torre del Mangia. Palazzo del Comune is also called Museo Civico because there's a museum inside. And if you are not late like we are, I do recommend you to visit it because inside you'll see La Maestà by Simone Martini e Il Cattivo e il Buon Governo by Ambrogio Lorenzetti, which are a must see here in Siena.